I guess he, you could say he's, he's sensitive um, by nature and he comes from this quite tough kind of working class um, uh, environment and everybody in his family, uh, uh, including his older brother Ron uh, and his father, um, has worked in the steelworks. Um, that's what they do, that's what he's kind of expected to do. But he, he kind of has a slightly more kind of um, poetic or artistic nature. So he, he, you know, he's sensitive within that environment. I did see sort of parts of myself in him as well, just the kind of, that thing of being like a, when I was young, I wrote songs and wrote poems and drew on my own in my bedroom. And I never wanted to show anyone that, that stuff. It was very pri private. It was kind of like my diary keeping. And I sort of felt like Arthur might be the same kind of um, person. Of all the, the, the plays and films and things that I've done, every project's been so different in the development. Um, and this was, um, yeah, maybe more unique than some. There was a lot of, uh, I think, I feel like the script was really kind of like just a blueprint when we first got it, which, like, I thought that was a cool, that was a cool thing, because we could, we could come, we could take ideas from it and then develop it. I thought it was a real strength to this project to have two directors because I think this was a very personal story for Arte and uh, so you know he was coming with it to it with with all those memories of what the story is actually about which is you know sort of partly um, uh, autobiographical about a relationship that he had so I think you know having Emily to kind of play a foil to that was quite a healthy thing. Oh, wow. It's a really nice donut. Just practically on set, they both work in very different ways. Like Arte is very much um, about rehearsing the scene and working with the actors and kind of, um, he doesn't even watch the monitor. He's, he's kind of like, for him, it's happening like now as we do the, as we do the scene, and he's watching the actors do the take um, like it was a piece of theatre or something, um, and he really enjoys that. And he, you know, he knows when it's a good take because he's um, he's been seeing it develop, and then he he watches it for real, not through the monitor. And Emily, on the other hand, you know, she's um, you know she's studied film at various places, and she's like a real, I guess, you know, she's looking at the the uh, the shot and working with um, the DP and you know and the way it's all lined up and trying to kind of create a flowing uh, beautiful shot and so you know you needed those two things to be working together and the amazing thing about working with Lydia is that we are we're, we're really close friends uh, in in real life and we've played um, boyfriend and girlfriend before on stage and stuff so we um, We've got a real trust and a real kind of a real friendship. Like it, it, she's really one of my best friends, so it's it's um, it was really fun to get to work with her. Working with Emily and Arte has been great, um, really amazing. I really um, I, I really love them both, and um, really appreciate what they brought to the the project and their openness and their willingness to collaborate and they allowed me to give quite a lot of input and um, everyone was honest about how they felt uh, about different things that people said in the development of, of the piece and it's, it's kind of ongoing now you know in, in terms of um, I'm, I'm currently uh, helping them get some music into the film and, and you know it's just a very positive uh, um, discussion, ongoing discussion, that the film, the whole film has been about uh, how to tell this story really well because it's a great story.